I did, however, um, a couple days ago on my lunch break, boot up Arkham Knight. I, I picked it up at a pawn shop recently and uh, for like, I think, I think $2. Uh, anyway, booted it up on the PlayStation 5 and played for an hour. This game is absolutely gorgeous. The particle effects are out of control in this game. There is so much rain everywhere. I I don't know really. When did it come out? Was it twenty? I I'm gonna pull this out of my uh, like out of the air. No, I thought it was like twenty sixteen. Yeah. I feel like I'm getting the even. Wait wait wait. wait. Fifteen. I I think fifteen. Fifteen. That Let's sounds see. way more right. Let's see. That I'm gonna I'm gonna pull it up right now. Right. Yeah. While you're doing that. Um... Oh. Uh, anyway. No. I want to I want to mention that game real quick. Um, what a, what an incredible first impression. Yeah. It's for for those that have not played it, uh, you know, have put it off because of some of the negative reception it got. I think we're far enough past that for for you to be able to see it by itself, not really stacked up to the other two games. Uh, you know, we are uh, discrediting. Arkham Origins, but uh, so, so just removed from the other two games as a standalone game, it left such an incredible first impression on me. I, I'm I'm not gonna give it the time over things like finishing Sable, you know, we talked about in the last episode, uh, or just a couple other things on my list. Um, I I'm not gonna make the time for it, but I I do actively want to play it. It it was so good. The opening just has the the camera like a like a drop down view on uh, Joker's like acid torn face and he's being wheeled into a, um, crematorium. a, a crematorium. He's going to be incinerated while uh, Frank Sinatra is playing for the entire song. It's like something about uh, like you're in my mind and now you're in my heart or something like that. And that's sort of, you know, setting up the whole game. Yeah. The, the the whole reason Joker is still there in the game. Uh, and the whole song plays. And then you can just hold X to incinerate. And Mark Hamill doesn't play Joker in... in I don't, I don't right? remember. I don't think he does. I think that was post-Joker retirement. Mm, I don't think so because he did... I don't know about retirement. I know he came back for the, the movie... He did um, come back for the movie. What was that called? Uh, Killing Joke. Killing Joke. Yeah, yeah I that think was a good movie. I, it's fine. I really love that comic. I, so I, I, I have pretty high it. standards. I have pretty high standards. Yeah, fair enough. Uh, it also gets started right away. There's yeah, really nice. no build up. It you're you're into the action. You're into the open world immediately, and I've never seen anything do this. Okay, how is it that only Batman? has done this. A throwaway Batman game that no one seems to really like. There's a weapon wheel. Everyone knows what a weapon wheel does. In this one, you hold the down, uh, you know, arrow button, the directional pad, and you use the right stick to select your weapon. Well, there is a similar wheel for your mini-map. If you want to track a particular kind of encounter, a particular kind of challenge, if you want to track a specific supervillain, whatever you want to track, you hold the right button and select that kind of map marker, and that map marker is now active. Otherwise, it is deactivated. It's not cluttering up space. You don't ever, I don't think you ever have to open the map to really look at something, because the, the mini map is, is quite nice. Uh, but a, like, encounter wheel, it works flawlessly. Why is this not in every single video game with a mini map? It's a it's wonderful perfect. question. Wonderful question. Anyway. Uh, that's, that's my brief time. Uh, just an hour. Super solid first impression. I see what people are saying about the Batmobile, but that aside, you know, that's not really why you want to be playing a, Bat, uh, a Batman game. The Batmobile feels impeccable. It's so nice. So I would, just based on that hour, I'd recommend it. Um, I would I, definitely recommend it. I'm going to be honest with everyone here. I have no shame in admitting that's exactly why I want to play a Batman game is to drive around in a Batmobile tank and <laughs> murder everything. Oh, yeah. There's no... He's he's done. He's not, uh, you know, trying to hide that he yeah, kills people anymore. I love, dude, the, one of my favorite memes right now is just the videos that you see of Batman doesn't kill people as the, as the title of the video. Yeah. It's just, like, obviously this man has just murdered this person. He threw him off a building, you know, but it's like, 
I don't know. He's not dead. He caught him or something. Like if that's the implication. No, no, no. That person's dead. Yeah. That man killed he's, him. He's angry now. <laughs> oh, and the, the main villain here, at least in the beginning, you know, uh, Red Hood mm-hmm. is the ultimate villain. Um, <clears throat> One of the best villains in Batman, I, I would think. Anti-hero, whatever you want to call him. I think just a fantastic... Because Batman's all about guilt. So having Red Hood as basically a the biggest embodiment of guilt in his but all Rose of that gallery. is uh, sort of enhanced by um scarecrow he's let out his biggest toxin yet the entire city has been evacuated uh and so i think i i didn't get this far i think that's why you're seeing so much of joker like that's what that's the guilt you're riddled with and the toxins are sort of drawing that out of you um and joker sort of manifests that way um, yeah, I, I would recommend playing that game. It seems great. It runs flawlessly on modern systems. Don't play it on PC. It's still broken. You know, they, they took it down, then they put it back up a while later, supposedly not fixed. And, uh, yeah, just don't play it there. Play it on modern systems. Only 1080p, but 60 frames. It's beautiful.